for Chris? Yeah? Okay, give me a kiss. All right. You want a sweet potato? Freeze-dried sweet potato fry? She loves those things. All right. Good morning. It is morning here in Pennsylvania. A whopping 23 degrees outside. Um, just absolutely insane how chilly it's gotten but um i am enjoying a cup of mud in my new mug that my wife got me yeah love it um so let's see chris my brother from another mother over at Silent Wisdom Experience. Okay. If y'all don't know, Chris is truly a brother of mine uh, in the brotherhood of uh, Old Man Fire. And um, Chris, my hat's off to you, brother, for doing what you guys do. Uh, of course, you know, I did it as a volunteer for 25 years, and um, it's never easy. Uh <laughs> There are days where it's easy money, I guess, but there are days that, you know, are, are tough. But, um, any words, welcome back. I'm glad you're back. That is fantastic. Um, it is really good to see you, man. And, um, I thought maybe at first one of your old videos just happened to pop up on my thing. And, uh, then I looked at it and it said, you know, so many hours ago. And I'm like, what? So I was excited. Uh. So you're doing a goal as a comeback um, just to thank people and just to be nice because uh, that's you. You're all heart. Um, you know, if you look up the word class in the dictionary, I'm sure somewhere on that page would be a picture of you uh, in that definition. So um, glad to see you back. Your question is awesome. It is what it's a sing-along goal and it's basically what song when you're in the car or you're on your phone listening to your iMusic music or whatever it is do you have to crank up to um sing along and there's just so many daggone songs um i'm a country boy at heart so you know that George Street's going to come out of my mouth. You know that George Street's going to come out. Um, you know Waylon Jennings is going to come out. Uh, man, Waylon Jennings is just awesome. Love Waylon. Um, Merle, some Merle stuff has always been good to me. Uh, let's see. Then you can go newer country, and um, you can go, uh, newer country, I guess, I would have to go Blake Shelton, 
I would have to go Granger Smith. Yee -yee. Um, I would have to go, let's see. Hmm. Luke Combs. Dude, Luke Combs is it, man. Let me tell you what, son. Luke Combs has really got it going down. Um, and, you know, success for a younger feller like, like Luke, it could not have come to a better feller than, than Luke. Um, because I love how he carries himself. You know, him and his wife, now wife, have been together for a long time. So, like, you know, being together before his success and it not changing nothing in his life is just awesome. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, man, oh, day. The one that really gets me every time is, um, well, Blake Shelton's in that list. Uh, let's see. The two that I would have to say for sure is a definite. Uh, crank it up and sing to where my wife tells me to shut up which usually does not take more than a second or two of my singing, um, would have to be old school. It would definitely be George Strait. Anything with King George in it, I'm on it. And also, um, I would definitely have to say Justin Moore. Um, Justin Moore is my favorite country singer. We um, went to a show about... I don't know, about four years ago, maybe maybe five years ago, I reckon it's been five or six that we went, and it was Blake Shelton, it was some girl, um, a newer girl, and then it was Bla uh, Justin Moore, and then Blake Shelton was the show. And I ran into a buddy of mine at the, I worked at a radio station that I used to work for. They were at the show. And I was shocked that they were there because it was a pretty good ways from where their station was from. And um, we were talking and he was like, look, man, I got two tickets to give away for meet and greets. And I'm just take them. I want you to have them. And I'm like, are you sure? He's like, heck yeah. He goes, take them. I was like, cool. So I took him and uh, we got to meet Justin Moore. And it was so cool to meet him because right before we got to go up in line, there were two girls that just flipped a lid. Um, they screamed, ran to him. Like you could see he was looking for a getaway path. Um, security stepped in real quick to calm him down and get him to knock it off, act like idiots. And, um, after things calmed down, like he quickly signed things. They posed for like one or two pictures and that was it. They were done. They shushed them off. And, um, rightfully so, because I mean, they were above and beyond ridiculous. And, um, I mean, I've been starstruck, but that was beyond ridiculous. And, uh. So then uh, we got to go up there and there was one couple behind us to meet him and uh, we walked over to him, you know, and of course, you know, it was just, I, I treat them like everyone else, you know, that's how you got to treat people because they put their britches on the same way we do, you know, zipper in the front and seam in the back, you know what I'm saying? So um, they, uh, we start talking and, Walked over and I says, what's going on, son? And he just like instantly, it was a connection. Like there was a hillbilly connection immediately. It was funny. And uh, my wife says, you're so little and so cute. Because he's just a tiny feller. And uh, he, he reached over and gave her a hug and kissed her on the cheek. And then he goes, oh, I think I should have asked first. <laughs> and then we both laughed about it and stuff. You know, we were all three laughing. And we were just talking, and at that point, Christy and I were getting ready to get married. So it was in 2011 we met him, or beginning of 2012. Yeah, it was beginning of 2012. 
because it was like a it was cold outside when we were outside waiting to get in uh for the show i remember that and um the wedding may you see the uh, wedding was in june so um yeah it was the beginning of the year we talked about the wedding and you know how him and his wife got got married and enough out of you and uh so you know that was really cool and then to see him live and everything and um to follow him over the years it's the garbage man macy but uh we've now seen him live four times uh we've seen justin live four times and uh every time he comes to town you can guarantee that i'm there or um i i try real hard i try real hard so i have but um you know it is what it is but that's it that's my answer um love me some justin moore so if y'all haven't never listened to justin moore y'all need to find him and uh just tune him in a little bit and um he sings uh quite a few songs that kind of ring home to me and uh you know it's just uh a really good he's just a good old boy from Arkansas loves to hunt and fish and uh not to mention his first big show was right here in Hershey Pennsylvania he opened up for Hank and um uh he mentions that in one of his first songs that he wrote uh he mentioned Hershey Pennsylvania in it so um it's pretty cool now I didn't go to that show but um it was uh, definitely pretty cool. So, but that's our answer. Chris, thank you very much for the opportunity. Really appreciate you. And uh, Macy, you got anything to add? Hmm? No? Okay. So until we can get together. Oh, if you've not subscribed to Chris, Silent Wisdom Experience, hit the arrow, drop into the wet cellar. The link will be there. Thanks for stopping in. Y'all take care, and until we can get together and pack a pipe or smoke that great cigar, let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care, and God bless.